The flat earth model claim there is a dome above us, a firmament keeping the atmosphere in place. This claim goes back to the words of the Bible, and the fact that gravity is a huge problem in their model, trying to prove this dome, or disprove gravity is of course futile. In valiant efforts to explain the tendency things have for falling, they keep coming up with laughable alternatives to gravity, like buoyancy. So, attempting to disprove the heliocentric model, they have this claim, repeated ad nauseum. Gas cannot be next to vacuum without a container, I really think, some get confused by their own language. Vacuum is not the same as suction, vacuum in this context is nothing. Vacuum is just a space devoid of matter. Let us clear this up for those who don't quite comprehend the concepts of physics and math. Pressure in outer space is about 1 times 10 to minus 4th, 2, less than 3 times 10 to minus 15th Pascal. So what does this mean? Some obviously think, because there is a minus in the exponent, these are really big negative numbers, and that the last number is a really really, really big negative number. But negative pressure don't exist. The minus in the exponent only mean these are very small numbers. 10 to minus 4th simply tell you to put 4 zeros before the number. And the 10 to minus 15th tell you to put 15 zeros before the number. Converted to normal decimal numbers, they look like this. In atmospheric pressure, 3 times 10 to minus 15th Pascal mean 0.3 atmospheric particles per cubic meter. So, in other words, vacuum in this context is nothing. And of course something can be next to nothing. Atmosphere can be next to nothing just fine. It is however gravity that holds the atmosphere to our globe. It is gravity that creates pressure off one atmosphere at sea level or 1013 hectopascal, this pressure is the weight of the atmosphere above us, the clear evidence for this is the decreasing pressure as we move up through the atmosphere, if it was, as suggested, just buoyancy, the pressure would be uniform all the way up through the uniform gas. At about 100 kilometers we draw the imaginary line we call the Kármán line. This is the edge of space. But as you can see from the pressure of 0.032 Pascal, there are still atmospheric gas outside this line. Take a look at this beautiful image of the sun setting beneath the earth showing how the atmosphere is thinning out. And this one showing a sunset in the atmosphere over the Aleutian Islands. No. Vacuum is not the same as suction. Vacuum is nothing. And something can be next to nothing. It is gravity holding our atmosphere in place, clearly evidenced by the thinning of the atmosphere at altitude. 